السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This is another lesson for all of us to understand how we shouldn't suspect any one of our brothers or sisters. As you all know, the Sudan is being hit by heavy flooding. Did not happen to it for more than 100 years ago. And that most of you know that how much is my sentimental attachment to Sudan and to Africa as a whole, as a person. Because Sudan is the country where I learned all my experience in humanitarian and social work since the early 80s of last centuries. So we have an organization called Muslim Shahid's Forum and we organize a meeting, coordination meeting between all the members of the Muslim Charities Forum with uh, one of the Lords from the House of Lords from the Conservative Party and with actually the, the responsible people from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Humanitarian Response or the International Development of UK in Sudan, two people, and the Deputy Minister of uh, Labour and Social Welfare and others. The meeting was extremely successful, alhamdulillah, and one of the recommendations is either we make a campaign, collective campaign together to raise the awareness and to raise funds because the, 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 the national and international media are not putting Sudan on the media at all, at all, disgrace, disgrace, disgrace. The second recommendation was to send a delegation from all the organization to go there. Alhamdulillah, I was thrilled and everybody was happy. On that day, I was talking to one of the organizations who was attending there and trying to invite each one of them. And I misunderstood that one of the largest organizations said that they would be coming in our delegation. When I heard this news from the representative of this organization, I just went down the floor and made sujood. But I misunderstood his message. Because I realized later on that because it's a huge organization, they have got many branches globally. And all the branches, at least five or six or seven, would like to make a delegation. And while I was walking on the road, making some of the exercise for my legs and my back, I had this phone call from this gentleman from the organization telling me this news. I was shocked. And I came from the moon to the depth of earth. I was extremely shocked. And I was disappointed. But this is where, this is where the time the most critical time where the devil comes between these two junctions. The good intention and the misunderstanding. And I was resisting the misunderstanding by trying to say, A'udhu Billah Mishnah Najim, A'udhu Billah Mishnah Najim, A'udhu Billah Mishnah Najim. And another dua, Allahumma na taj'al fi qalbi, O Allah, do, do, do not make uh, in my heart any hatred to anyone, not only to Muslim, but to non-Muslim as well. It took me 24 hours to sleep in this pain, fighting the devil, not to let me to misunderstand the message that I misunderstood it. Could be my, mis my, my, my wrong, uh, my, my misunderstanding to the message and how to overcome it. I was talking to one of my colleagues, which sometimes I get his advice, which is right advice, and he gave me good advice. I have to work on two levels. Level one, is to speak to the ambassador in London to make the, the visit of this organization highly successful, highly successful, and to let the minister, to, sorry, the, the ambassador to talk to everybody in the country to make this uh, 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 delegation visit is very successful. Then I talk to the head of the delegation to encourage him, tell him, holding hands, I'm with you 24 7. Then on the other side, I have to work, or we have, not me, we have to work on another delegation from other organizations which we need to collect them together. And alhamdulillah, we are succeeding up till now to get about three or four organizations to go in the second delegation. The message here, don't ever, don't ever and never let the misunderstanding, the misconception, the misunderstanding lead to bad intention the misunderstanding lead to a bad intention why because this is where 
where where the devil can come swiftly and make the rift between you and your colleagues. So at this juncture or this moment, you have to keep saying, "A'udhu billah min shaitan Allahumma la taj'al fi qalbi ghil adu'a Allah, don't make any hatred in my, don't, any, any, don't let me to feel any hatred in my heart towards my colleague or my brothers or my neighbors in another one. No, no matter whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims. So if you misunderstand your colleague, your wife, your children, cool down, then ask them to go to explain again and again and again before you start making your conclusion and the hypothesis and this misunderstanding lead you to have a bad intention about others. Jazakumullah khair wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.